Hi friends, this is Burgess from Serenity in Art. In today's video, I'll be drawing this shining hummingbird with metallic pens on black paper. But before we get into the actual drawing and supplies, let me show you how to draw a simple hummingbird. So we start off with a, a sort of a head like that. Like that. Bit of a neck there. And just we've got two sort of pear shaped things. There's one here and one there. And then we put the wings in like that. Like this. And like that. And then the tail, we can do that. Like that. And the beak, there we are, there's the beak. And it could be sucking on a flower like this. Any old flower, really. Flower, drinking from the nectar. There we are. And then we have the legs sort of underneath here, like that. Another one there. The beak sort of comes up this way, like this. The V shape there, and then the big sort of egg shaped eyes there. And there's our hummingbird. That's how we draw it. Make that a little bit bigger. So that's the how that's the way we draw our hummingbird. So let's get into the supplies then, shall we? So I'll also be using these pens. What I have here is two different brands. This one is from the Signio range. It's the Uniball Signio, and this is a white sort of ink pen. I have a gold here from the same range, and if you open the tip, it's got a lovely metallic nib with a ball bearing at the end of it. So the ink flows really, really nicely and smoothly once you get it, once you scrape it on a piece of paper just to get the um, ink flowing. I also have silver and of course the white. This is from the one, one range. From another range I'm using, just to add a bit of color to the bird, I've got these metallic marker pens from the Stadler range. Now these come in a pack, pack of six, six shades. As you can see, there are only five here. I had a silver shade, but when I bought it, it was already dry, so I discarded it. But it's got a gold here. Now, as you can see from the Signio gold and the gold from here, they do look a little bit different. And even on paper, they look a little bit different. I've got a blue, a green, a purple, and what should be a red, I hope, but it's not. And you'll see why in a little later in the video. Now, I'm not particularly fond of these marker pens because their tips are a little bit too broad. As you can see, they're too broad. And even though it looks like there's a fairly fine sort of tip, you'll find that the tip is not hard enough. So when you try to render small marks, like fine lines and small dots, you simply can't do it. Plus, I also found that their shades are not really what they appear to be. Let me show you an example. This gold, Look how thick the mark is. No matter how thin I try to make it, it's still fairly, fairly thick. Now, this is gold, and yes, the gold does show up, but once it dries, it does become a little bit opaque. The red, this is the red. It's terrible. It doesn't even look like red. The purple, it doesn't show up at all against the black. The green shows up a little bit. But it becomes, the shine disappears after a while. And this is the blue. And that doesn't show up at all, as you can see. Compare, compare that to the Signia range. This is the gold. This is the gold. It's fairly, fairly shiny. This is the silver. Look how strong it is. And of course, we know what the white is. Um, yeah, so look, here's the white. 
But since these were the only multicolored metallic markers, additional ones that I was able to get hold of, I'm going to work with what I have. I mean, I did try to find different colors in the Signia range, but I cannot seem to find them. So hey ho, I'm going to work with what I have here. So let's get right into the actual drawing. find this is a fun exercise, mainly because you don't have to worry about the colours you need to use. In reality, hummingbirds come in so many colours that if you choose any colour from your palette, it would not look wrong. So for this fun exercise, I made a choice to draw the bird's wings in gold and its tail in silver. I wanted the bird to have an almost jewel-like quality. Even though I say so myself, I think my bird could make a piece of fine jewellery 
like a gold and silver brooch, for example. I used straight lines for the wings and tail of the bird and the pointillism technique for the head and body. Pointillism is where you make several small dot-like marks on a surface that, from a distance, blend together to create an image. Since the small marks are meant to be made, I found that the Stadler pens are not right for this technique because they don't have a fine point as I had mentioned in my introduction and so I had to use a Signio pen to go over some of the marks I made in the drawing using the Stadler brand. To be honest with you, the pens are indeed very disappointing. Nevertheless, I enjoyed this exercise because apart from the drawing itself, which I kept very simple, there was no other planning before. If you like this hummingbird as much as I enjoyed creating it, do give this video a like and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Your support is always appreciated. Thank you for watching.